Well, I just picked up some mid-range binoculars. Thought they were made in the USA, but they're not. They happen to be in China. But what the heck? You know, I didn't notice it, though. But, uh, yeah, Leopold, which is, uh, you know, top brand. Um, but nothing really, you know, as far as crazy quality and nothing... Well, nothing that's electronic. That's the other thing, because you know the deal. You know the deal. You're dealing with electronics. It's always got a shelf life of how long? Who knows, right? But it, uh, it comes with the case. It comes with uh, you know extra materials to uh, clean them with. Soft case and other case here. Um, and they're good. You know the good all around because. Well, first, you know, it's a typical binoculars, right? But the thing is, um, they're not like extreme power. And I found, like at nighttime, if you're using something at nighttime, you don't want nothing that's extreme power because you'll lose a lot of light visibility. It's not only the quality of the lens; it's also, you know, the size of the aperture. And these these just uh, fold down actually on the outside here, so. Um, but yeah, they're nice. They're convenient. Uh, very easy. Very fast focus. Um, and you know, it's not something that's going to wear out. And that's one thing. I mean, if you buy an iPhone made in China, which is really where the hell they're made. I mean, two years later, you throw in the garbage basically because you're buying another one. But this, this will last you umpteen years. And right now, probably with the dollar the way it is, we got a strong dollar compared to the Chinese currency. You know, if you're going to be buying something in uh, foreign countries, buy something that's going to last. But uh, these are really um, just about the right size. They're not too heavy. They're not too weak, in other words. Like, in other words, they're very functional. Eight power is nice. And, uh, you know, the other deal is that they're a handy, quick size. They're very quick focus. Because um, I got some other binoculars. I don't have nothing this good, you know. Um, this is, you know, of course, 100% waterproof and all that type of stuff. But uh, you don't want to go for like 12 power, you know, stabilization devices and stuff like that. Because those type of things, they break after a while. That's the problem. You want to go with something simple, but something quality. And maybe not something ridiculously quality. I mean, these are about, you know, a little over 100 bucks or something. But if you get stuff that's like $500, $800, you're afraid to take it out into someplace and get it wet even though these are 100% waterproof, right? Yeah, another thing is, this is kind of like an all-around good gift idea, even. Um, I know I got my nephew some binoculars last Christmas, uh, like yellow ones, because he's into uh, sports. And, uh, you know, it could be for hunting, and it could be for a lot of garbage, you know, but uh, it could also even be for construction. A lot of times you're looking at stuff, you were looking up at the top of a building or something, or whatever the hell it is, comes in pretty handy, so... Usually they're pretty damn useful for a long period of time, but I always like getting stuff that isn't electronic. I mean, I'm into electronic stuff where it needs to be electronic. And I know they got the stabilization devices and all these night vision type things and everything for optics. But, like I said, these work very well at night at this power. And, they're you know, it's a good quality coated lens. You know, these are kind of like a green color. I don't know what the hell that means, to tell you the truth. But... I was messing around with them. They are they are better than the ones I have some. Uh, well, I'll drop another name, Tasco, which is not like your usual. Now they're getting better though. Tasco is getting better, but and they're not bad. But these these pick up light better than them, and even though the Tascos are much larger. So, and those are seven power, with a much bigger objective on the on this side. So you would think they would pick up more light, but they don't. These actually work with even one more power. It's eight power with a smaller objective lens so usually it's quality but it's not you know it's a mid-range price quality something that's really practical kind of like what I like going for so anyway yeah that might be a good idea for some kind of gifts or something sometimes you don't know what the hell to get somebody I mean I'm not getting uh, it's not a, just something I bought for me you know and it's not something I and I don't I don't have um, I didn't have any binoculars of this quality before these are not like the top notch, but they're definitely good enough quality. I got some other ones that are pretty good, but dad, I think they were like less than half the money it is. So these are, you know, it's a trusted name, Leopold. So you can always pretty much go along with that, of course, Carl Zeus. But uh, when you get Carl Zeus, you're talking some serious bucks. But this is, you know, Nikon's another good one, too. 
but you know it's pretty much a good gift gift idea all the way around and uh, this is just a handy size it's not too small like these other ones I forgot what the hell brand they are there's focus fix focus they fix focus from like 50 feet on and they don't pick up a lot of light they're not bad they're quick they're smaller than this and I got ones that are bigger than this and the performance on these even though these are smaller than the bigger ones I have that are Tasco, these this this performance on these Leopos are better. So anyway, yeah, not a bad idea. It's not crazy expensive or anything like that. And something that when you you know, it'll last. You'll have this 20, 30 years from now. It's not electronic. You know? It's like it's like that shovel up there on the wall, right? <laughs> It's always going to work, right? Unless you run it over with a truck or something, but don't do that, right? By mistake, you know, if you do that, you leave them on the ground, you run them over with your car. That would that would break them. But otherwise, they'll last you decades. And that's really what you want. 100% waterproof and all that type of stuff. Pretty handy for a lot of different things. So, there you go. And light enough to carry around. They're like just the right size, you know what I mean? Like if you're carrying them around and walking around in the woods or something or whatever. It depends on where you're at. Construction sports arena just the right size so not too big not too small yeah these also come with a nice uh, wide strap it's flexible it's got the quick detaches on it which is good and uh, you know it's a little bit difficult to get the little o-rings on there but once you get the o-rings on there it's got the uh, detachable quick detach you just squeeze it together and you don't need to have that strap on here but that's pretty handy if you're just walking around and uh, you want to have them handy and this is so soft and cushiony and flexible it's got some flex in it it's got, I think it's some kind of neoprene or something that I'm sure that's not going to bother your neck if it's on your neck for quite a while 